Okay, so this is exercise 4.2, configuring the namespace, um, part of the Microsoft official academic course, uh, administering Windows Server 2012 R2 for the exam 70-411. In this exercise, we're going to create several shared folders and then link them together with the DFS name namespace. The mindset behind this exercise is that you work for a corporation that has several file servers with multiple shared folders. You want to make it easier for users to access the shared folders. What can you do? So we're going to get started. Let's go ahead and minimize this and go right into server one. All right, so I'm on server one and we're going to open up the file explorer folder and we are going to create two folders. Right click, new, folder, share one, enter. Right click, new, folder, share two. And we want to right click on share one. Oops. Left click, right click, properties. And then click on the sharing tab. And we want to click on Advanced Sharing and share this folder. And then click on the Permissions and allow full control. And then OK. That brings us to question two. Because we allow everyone full control, how do you make sure that the shared files are secure? Well, you can use NTFS permissions to ensure that they're secure. Okay, now that we've closed that, we're going to use a similar process to share folder share to. So right click properties, sharing, advanced, share this folder, permissions, and allow full control, and then OK, OK, and close. And So now what we're going to do is close out of this. Okay, now let's go over to server 2 and basically do the same thing. <coughs> Minimize this, open up my file explorer. We're going to create two folders. New folder, share one. Share two. Oops. Left click, right click, properties, sharing, advanced, share, permissions, allow, OK. <clears throat> and close. Do the same thing with share two. Left click, right click, properties, sharing. Advanced, share, permissions, allow full control, and OK, OK, and close. Now we're going to go back to server one, and we're going to click on tools and DFS management. Minimize this for now. Okay, so here we have namespace and replication. I just clicked on it and just to show that there is no nothing to expand. All right, so here we have namespace. I'll left click, right click, new namespace, and we're going to type in server01.
And then we're going to click on next. And here we're going to type in shares. We're going to click edit settings. And then we're going to click all you just have read write permission. And then click on OK. And then here we're going to click on next. And this is going to be domain based namespace. We're going to enable Windows Server 2008 mode. It is selected. We're going to click on next. And then create. Now, while that's working on that, let's take a look at the next few questions. Question number three, what is the default location for the shares folder? Well, it's going to go to your root DFS roots slash shares. Question number four, what is the name of the domain based namespace? It's going to be the, the contoso.com dot shares, I'm sorry, slash shares. And then what is the advantage of Windows Server 2008 mode? It supports up to 50,000 folders with targets per namespace and access based enumeration. All right, let's go ahead and minimize this and take a look to see where we're at. Okay, create namespace success. We'll go ahead and click on, oh, if you're following along, this is where you're going to take your next screenshot. <clears throat> and then we'll click on close. On the DFS management console in the left pane, in the left pane we're now going to expand the namespaces node, which it already is, and then click contoso.com shares. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we should be able to right click and select on new folder. In the name text box, we're going to type in server01 space share1. So server01 share1. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to click on add first. And then the add folder target dialog box. Let's cancel this back up for a minute. Cancel. All right, let's try this again. Okay, right click. New folder. In the name text box, server01 share1. And then we'll click on add. And in the target dialog box, we want to, oh, I see what we're doing. Okay, so we're doing, we're going to direct it to the server 01 share one. And then okay. And then we're going to create Add. No. Cancel. We're going to do OK. And we want to add another folder. And this one is going to be called 
server or one. Share two. Add. We're going to point it to that folder. And then OK. And then OK. So now we have two folders. And then we're going to add folders for server two. <clears throat> so right click, new folder. Server zero two. Share one, add, server zero two, slash, share one, and then OK, and then OK, and we're going to add our last folder, right click, new folder, server zero two, share two, add, slash slash server zero two slash share two and then OK and then OK again OK so now while we're in server one we're going to open up our Windows Explorer and navigate to Contoso. So we're going to do that. Contoso.com slash shares. Okay, so here are our shares. And if you're following along the lab manual, this is where you're going to make sure to take your next screenshot. Once you do that, we will close the file explorer. And then go back to our DFS management console, which is right here. And right click contosa.com shares. So right click. And properties. And we're going to click on the advanced tab and select enable access based enumeration. And if you're following along the lab manual, this is where you would take your next screenshot. That brings us to question six. What does the enable access based enumeration for this namespace option do? If a user opens the namespace, he or she is only going to see folders and content that he has access to. Other files and folders will be hidden. All right, so now we're going to click on OK. And this is the end of this exercise and the end of this video. The next exercise is exercise 4.3, Configuring DFS Replication. So we'll see everybody in the next video.